Good morning folks and welcome to Ag Ventures. So today I just want to discuss with you in my opinion one of the best if not the best agricultural motorbike in the world and this one is the Yamaha AG200. I am specifically here in South Africa. I'm a cattle farmer and uh, so I use this bike extensively here on the farm. And so th today I just want to show you all the wonderful features in this motorbike. It seems like uh, the guys over at Yamaha, they decided that they needed to develop a product specifically for us guys here on the farm. And uh, really, they, they've done a very good job. And you know, this, this motorbike has uh, been in development quite some time. But if you look at it, uh, it's still old technology so I'm, I'm gonna go over the features of this motorbike and show you everything that they've done to make this uh, such a fantastic tool to use on the farm okay so I'm gonna start here in the front and then I'm gonna wake, uh, work my way to the to the back of the motorbike so first off we get this uh, rack in front here uh, it's got a little clip on top so you can put anything in here maybe your gloves or your hat anything that that you need to to quickly attach to the to the motorbike so if you look at the construction of this of this rack it's strong it's strong metal uh, materials they didn't skimp on on the strength of this unit this is solid steel there's no plastics here it's all solid steel look at how this light has been fitted with this look at look at this strong bracket how strong this whole system is it's the old style uh, speedometer it's the clock speedometer what i would have loved if if they had a fuel gauge um, that would have been a very nice addition to this because this don't have a fuel gauge when you run out of air of gas you just switch to you just switch it over to uh, reserve then you know you know you need to put in some new gas so that's your fuel gauge basically and also for me i would have liked a lockable uh, fuel tank especially here in south africa um, a lot of times you know your gas gets stolen uh, from the tank this is a very very handy feature if you look at the clutch here you have a, a, a lockable uh, uh, clutch so you just hold on that that pin there like this is a very nice feature uh, if you just quickly want to get off the bike and get back on again, leave it in gear. When you when you start to drive, you just if you pull it in, it jumps out again. Here you have a 12 volt outlet. Um, so I, I, I'm not sure exactly how this how this thing works, um, but I'm, I suppose you can also uh, get connectors for this. So that all that all comes standard uh, with this motorbike. This key that that goes around your your ignition switch so that's so good so it, it cannot easily wear out because you know if you ride on the farm in the in the field it's very bumpy so the keys they get worn out or they fall out so it's very snug it cannot fall out easily then here you have the the choke so when you start cold you just pull out the choke and then you uh, you start the motorbike okay moving to the handlebars we've got the standard standard mirrors in here and then look at this protection that you have here I think if you drive in the bushes um, it 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 covers for your hands a lot of times you know we, on the farm you have to maybe chase an animal or something and you have to drive through the bushes this is very very nice to protect to protect your hands also uh, to protect the the handlebars of the bike here you have an, e an, an electric start that's a addition that came later with this bike they didn't used to have a electric start but with the electric start you also have a have a kick start so in case of an emergency your battery dies you can do a kick start moving down here to the front wheel um, you've got this uh, plastic uh, mud guard and then very strong this is your shocks your brake everything it doesn't have the best brakes in the world 
but then at the speeds you are going you know you don't necessarily need too much braking power but it's very strong you know if you go over rocks and stuff this they these things they can get take quite a beating it's all built being built to last this thing is built like a tank if you look here in the back of the front wheel uh, you've got a large uh, mud guard then you have this engine protectors um, look at this it's all steel if you drive over rocks and stuff this can take quite a quite a beating and also while you are driving you can rest your you can rest your feet on here this is all standard equipment on the bike you don't have to to add anything on this okay so this is still a carburetor system so very easy to maintain very easy to fix and uh, it it just works very very well okay coming back here look at this this foot pick this wide it's got a it's a wide wide foot pick if the ground is a little bit soft or something it's always a problem if a foot pick is uh, too small it's, it starts to sink into the into the ground. The chain is protected by this by this cover. Uh, you know, you never get mud. If you go through mud, all the mud gets stuck here on this cover, and uh, it's always protected. Here you have uh, another protection. You know, if you go over a rock or something, if you hit a rock, it it protects this this whole uh, chain cover here in in the back. Look at this seat. It's very very nice and comfortable you know to drive in all day long uh, unfortunately you won't be able to carry a passenger it doesn't have foot picks and uh, but this is a very very nice comfortable seat nice and wide and uh, also this bike is not very tall so it's very easy to flat foot um, so it all works very well if you have to ride around all day long coming to the back uh, look at this this size of this carrier this is all standard equipment on this motorbike um, and you can attach it's got very nice it's very easy to at attach things to this to this carrier um, and it's nice and wide so you can you can really uh, load a big box or anything that you need you can you can load onto onto this bike at the back here you also have a very wide uh, mud guard you have an extra uh, foot pick on the right hand side as well um, look at the just want to show the width again of that that foot pick so this is very very handy when you get to uh, sometimes when you get to gates on the farm you know a lot of times you have to uh, you have to uh, get off on the other side you not necessarily only can get off on one side sometimes you have a fence on one side so this is very handy so they just thought of everything that happens on the farm that sometimes uh, can help you a little bit the neutral of this bike is at the bottom so most of the times your first gear is at the bottom then you have neutral in between and then second second gear with this bike the neutral is at the bottom specifically in this application it being at the bottom um, if you have to stop a lot, you know, on the farm, if you're by yourself, you, a lot of times you have to go through many gates in a short period of time. So um, being able to just go all the way down and know the bike is in neutral is so very handy. You know, you don't have to, a lot of times if you you have to struggle to get in neutral, you if you, you know, you go from first to second gear, first to second, because the neutral is in between, it gets frustrating. With this bike, you just push it all the way down and then you know it's uh, in neutral so all in all this bike has been built for farmers for guys having to drive around on the farm all day long and i can honestly say this bike is probably in my opinion the best motorbike that a farmer can buy for everyday use i'm gonna take a little drive and just show you guys the the gearing and everything so it's not the fastest bike there is the gearing has been I think purposefully made so you have a slow slow gear especially your first and second gears are very very slow so you can uh, ride behind animals and so the, the, the top speed is also also uh, not very high um, but that's not a problem usually you don't have to go too, too, 
passed on the farm so it really it's 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 been tuned perfectly for everyday use here on the farm so unfortunately due to emissions regulations um, here in South Africa now this bike even though it's got everything you've got the you've got your um, flickers or your your um, st uh, turn signal lights everything you can to to be able to register this bike unfortunately in South Africa due to emissions control uh, they don't allow this bike to be registered anymore but fortunately we can still buy this bike new here in South Africa so now we're gonna take a small trip with the AG200 so I can just demonstrate the gearing and uh, talk a little bit more about the handling and everything okay so neutral is all the way down and uh, okay so that's first gear that's almost top of first gear it, it doesn't it almost doesn't show show up on the speedometer it's just above zero so I'm just gonna go so this second gear third gear so we're at 20 kilometers per hour and we're already at on third gear so from there fourth gear is just over 20 kilometers per hour and uh, let's see okay there's fifth gear 40 kilometers per hour and so now we're at 60 60 kilometers per hour okay so I just want to demonstrate now for instance if I was to get to a gate and I don't want to uh, put the put the motorbike back into neutral um, all I can do is I just squeeze in that and uh, then the, the clutch stays behind so then I can get off open the gate the motorbike stays in gear and if I want to start to, to ride again if I push in the I can just go again okay so I just want to demonstrate first gear so I'm in first gear now and I'm just going to move this cows around here just to see the pace of this motorbike so I can slowly ride right behind these cows and uh, it's very easy if I want to go around them it's really very very nice this slow first gear it feels very safe and it's very easy to work with on the farm so if I there I can just push these cows around if I want to take this one out I can take it out and if I want to stop the cow I can you see how easy this bike is like a horse on the farm okay so just some final thoughts on uh, riding on this Yamaha AG200 it's really it's a safe bike um, it's it's very low to the ground it's not it's not top heavy it feels uh, solid when you are drive when you are riding it and um, it, it really it's really for the purpose purpose it's been built for it's really a very very nice tool to have on the farm it's uh, it's almost like uh, being able to be, you know having a second horse or it's almost fulfilling the function of a horse on on a cattle farm um, you know there's areas that you can go with a horse that you won't be able to go with this bike but then it's so nice to have this uh, motorbike just to be able to move around uh, quickly on the farm um, you know to 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 go about your daily business and just hop on and hop off 
and if you're on your own it's easy to open gates it's easy to if you want to move some cows it's just all over a very very nice uh, tool to use um, I can maybe drive in the in the pasture a little bit so we can just uh, demonstrate how it's driving on the uh, in the pasture if you're riding in the pasture very easy the suspension is nice and soft really no problems <laughs> very 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 nice to handle um, in those kind of situations so all in all for the farmers for the stockmen those type of guys if you if you're looking for a tool for a motorbike for a second horse on the farm i can highly recommend the yamaha ag 200